Hello folks, Abfielder here with another Minecraft tutorial and today it's this mega wool farm with 16 modules, one for each colour. I'm going to give you some info about the farm and a block by block tutorial. So, the farm, it has the lever that turns the whole thing on and off because we're good Minecrafters, we try and keep server lag to a minimum. There are 35 sheep in each one of these and the water streams and the sheep push them around. Keep the shears in the chests up top and then the wool drops into the water, into some hoppers and into those chests down the bottom. Lots of grass to try and promote fast grass growth so we get the maximum amount of wool. And we also have the trap doors there to get the sheep in and also if you want to dye them a different colour that's really useful. We're using the powered rails and the observers to try and minimise lag. It's less lag with the powered rail than it is the redstone dust. If powered rail is too expensive for you, you could use redstone dust instead, should work. So I think that's enough about the farm. One last thing actually about the farm is that make sure you put adult sheep in there. If you put baby sheep and adult sheep in there, the adult sheep kind of drown the baby sheep. It's horrific. So let the sheep grow up before you push them in. Just a reminder folks, if you find this video good and you like the farm as well, give the channel a subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. Let me know down in the comments if you do subscribe as well. I'd love to be able to say hello to you. In return, I'll be doing more Minecraft farm tutorials and not only that, I will be including a world download and a schematic of this. I know not everyone wants to listen to a block by block tutorial. If you're one of those people, download those files, but give the channel a subscribe as well. That would be fantastic. All right, folks, let's jump into the block by block tutorial. And first off, we have the materials list. So you are gonna need quite a lot of glass. It doesn't have to be white. You're gonna need some grass blocks, building blocks of your choice. You don't necessarily need smooth stone, torches, hoppers, powered rail, but you could swap that out for a redstone dust. Everything else on there is pretty mandatory, so you are going to need it. Just pause the screen and go ahead and go and collect the materials that you need to build this up, and then we'll start the block by block tutorial. You will need to clear a 45 by 45 area for this farm. Go ahead, pause the video. I'm sure you'll need to, to go and clear this space and level this space now. But as I said, 45 by 45 blocks. And if you need the center block, that is the 23rd block on each side. So go ahead and mark out your center block and that should make it just that little bit easier to build if you're in kind of a confined space. If you're in a big open area, then obviously that step does not matter. But off your center block, you wanna come off seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seventh place your block of your choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it's on the seventh block that you wanna do it. And we're gonna actually do that off all four sides. So count out and place a block on the seventh. That's number seven. And then we can bring that around in a perfect square like so. We'll do that off the other two sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh we place our block and we bring it round like so. And then we'll go over and do the final side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And we bring that round and join it all up. And we'll have a perfect square around our center block. Remove that block that I accidentally placed there. There we go. We have our perfect square around our center block. Okay, pick a corner. It doesn't matter which one. And on the inner, come off like that. Two blocks and then a single block. Leave a gap off the corner. And then on the outer, we're going to extend this whole square so it is two blocks wide. So just go around and place essentially another square around the one you placed to begin with. And then you're going to end up with a two wide square all the way around. All symmetrical, as I said earlier, up to this point. Here we go, one more block, and if we just go up over the top, you will have this. Okay, just pause the video if you need to. Right, on the bit that we built where it sticks out a little bit, this is going to be our redstone clock. Take your block of choice, place it up on there, and a torch off to the side. And then a repeater going away from that. Two bits of redstone dust, like so, and a repeater back into the block, and you have your clock. Now all we need is the lever that allows us to turn the sheep shear in on and off. Okay, grab the block of your choice. We're going to count three in from the middle of the square there. So on the third block, and then we're going to come out three. And we're going to do that twice on each side. So we count in three blocks. So that's the third block in, and then we come out three blocks. So third block, like so. And it's the third from the inner square. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And we come out three blocks like so. One two, three, should all line up. Each side is symmetrical. This just helps us orientate the farm and kind of build it all up in the correct locations. There we go, and you'll end up with this. Just pause the video if you need to. 
Okay, grab your observers and your powered rail and on those bits that we just built, we're gonna head over and we're gonna place the observer facing away like so. And this is gonna be watching the powered rail for the signals. This is how we're gonna send the signal around the square. So one on each of the nodes, as I'm gonna call them, and then grab your powered rail and on each of those three blocks, go ahead and place your powered rail. This will send the signal to the dispensers and shear the sheep. And all eight of them, like I say, this farm completely symmetrical. When we get to the sheep part, I'm just going to build one of them. Otherwise, this video will go on forever. You'll end up with that pattern. Okay, grab your observers and your powered rail. And now we're going to run the signal all the way around. So off your clock, come out like so. And then in your corner, place one there. As you can see, it's on the inner square. And then come round like so and one there. All the way around and then we're going to turn the corner again exactly the same as we did before now i know i keep saying this farm is symmetrical but it's actually not quite on the redstone okay so we're not going to take the signal around that corner we're going to go back to our redstone clock we're going to place an observer off there we're going to miss the corner and place another one there then we're going to skip that one and we're going to place one right in front of our observer just there otherwise the redstone signal wouldn't quite reach Grab your powered rail and then hook all those observers up. Now, don't worry, I'm going to hover up over the top and hopefully my texture plaque is clear enough that you can see all those observers and where they need to go. If not, grab the world download. It will make it nice and simple for you. So we don't need to go around that corner. We do need one piece there to join those two observers up and then all the way up to that last observer. And then you can go ahead, turn the clock on and make sure all the observers are firing. So there we go, and if I hit F1 now, if you pause the screen there or, or just keep re-watching this, you should be able to get that all correct. Hopefully my texture pack is clear enough that you can see the arrows on the observers. Okay, so now we're just going to build up one side of this. It is identical, so you need your chests, and where the, the rail is, we want to place a double chest. It doesn't actually matter which way it faces on each side, and we do the same over there as well. So you'll end up with four double chests. Okay, and then you grab your hoppers. And with your hoppers in, going into that chest, one facing that way, one onto that side, and then this will be four total. So that's two, that's three, that's four. And then we do the same for this one. So come out two, then turn the corner, two, three, four. You end up with that pattern and of course, Honestly, symmetrical. <laughs> You'll trust me by the end of this video, it is four going like that. And the same on this one, come out two and then turn the corner and make it four total. We'll go up over the top and that's how it will look. Okay, now you can grab the block of your choice and we're gonna fill this in just a little bit. So not on the final hopper, but with the, the smooth stone there, you can see what I've done. And same for there, like that. And then we can fill that bit in oops not like that and then exactly the same on this side as well just don't cover that final hopper we're going to be using grass there and then just this bit as well so you'll end up with that shape and then we're going to take our grass and then pre wide grass all the way down to two blocks from the end Like so, change for your smooth stone or your block of your choice and do this pattern. Then you need a bit of wool. I'm going to use cobblestone wool. I'm going to put some cobblestone wool there like so. This will help get the sheep up the top. Then in the center, we're going to do very similar, but grass all the way across like so. So it'll be five wide. All the way back and exactly the same as we did on that single one, but we're going to do a double. So grab your smooth stone and then do this pattern. And then in those gaps, place your cobblestone wall. Any wall will do, it doesn't have to be cobblestone, it doesn't have to be smooth stone either. It's just a really good block for tutorials. And then on this edge, we do exactly the same as we did for the first one. And we use the smooth stone in that pattern and get your cobblestone wall again. And then you'll end up with this. Okay, it gets a little bit more complex here, but place in an observer and then a dispenser and observer by the rail and then a dispenser facing towards the hopper observer dispenser and lastly an observer 
and a dispenser. There we go. Then we want to take our hoppers and place one hopper into the dispenser and another hopper into that and do the same on all four of these modules. So into the dispenser and then into the hopper, into the dispenser, into the hopper. Grab your glass and then come out in this pattern, sorry, this pattern here. So it butts up against the observer and you leave a gap in the middle. That's where our sheep are gonna go. Come all the way down the one side with your glass and do the same on the other side, all the way down to the bottom. Leave that glass in the middle free. We will come back to that shortly and do the same for all four. This one in the middle, you'll obviously have the glass going down the middle in between those two modules like so. So the bit over where the hoppers are is always empty. That's where the sheep are going to go. And bring it around again like so. Butts up against the rail. And then on your final one, same thing again. Sheep will go down the middle. Glass all the way down. Not like that. There we, there we go. And just this one as well. Okay. In the middle here, we're going to place the block of your choice. And then we're going to place a ladder on it. Same for all four modules. Block your choice. Ladder. Block your choice. Ladder. This is how the sheep get back up to the top and do that kind of circular motion. Then we're going to place some grass on the outsides level with that glass. Just with where the grass is. And that's just going to help promote the grass growth and should help increase the productivity of your farm. It is not strictly necessary to put the grass outside. I just recommend it for increased productivity. If you're going to go to these extents, you may as well do this little bit and you'll do the same here. So just cover it all up. And then on this last side, just another block. There we go. Okay, now we need to put some signs in because we're going to have to put some water in. So level with your, your dispenser in each one. And turn around in that middle one. There you go. They'll be sort of facing towards each other. And then get your water. You're going to need a water source right in the end there. And the water will flow towards that sign and then stop. This will help push the sheep in the correct direction. Do the same for all four modules. If at any point you're struggling, folks, I really recommend you get the world download. Okay, up to now you'll have this. Okay, then we're going to do our next layer and we're going to place in some glass. We don't place it directly above the first layer of glass. We go over the top of our water source with this. The sheep will drop down into the bit that pushes them towards the sign. Okay, now we're going to grab some chests and on top of the outside hopper, that one there, we're going to place a chest and another one there and then two more over here, one there. And this is where our shears are going to go, our spare shears, otherwise we'll get through them really, really quickly. Right, now all we need to do is place in a load more glass straight over the wall as we did on the layer before. Just down on the walls, we're going to place the other block of our choice in at the end. So do this for all of the glass, like so. Honestly, folks, if you can see in the background there that I've got sort of a, an outline of the farm, I'm using called something like something called Lightmatica. I highly recommend it. It would make building this farm much easier for you. And like I say, the schematic will be in the description. So just bring the glass down, like so. And then we can grab the block of our choice and we continue the ladder up as well. So block your choice and put the ladder on it as well. Like I say, this is how the sheep get up the top. And then one more, like so. Now we need to place some light sources. This is so the grass can grow. So this one's nice and easy because it's next to the chest and we do it on both sides. This will keep the lev light level above nine all the way up and down the platform. This is why I use glass because I can place the torches on the outside. A bit harder at the back, so it's the fifth block in. So one, two, three, four, five, it's that one. And then one there, one there, and not, no, not one there. Place it on the outside of the other wall. There we go. And then one there and one on the other side as well. And I'll hover up as well so you can just see all that. There you go. And if I turn on, I've got something called mini HUD. You can see the light level stay well above nine. Right then, folks, next layer, we take our glass and we do this shape here like so. And we're going to do that for all four modules. So across the front and then just one on the side like so, making sure we've got a gap over that water source still like that. And then we can take our grass blocks 
and then we can cover this up into like that. So we have a one block gap at the front there. So grass all the way back down till three blocks from the end. Like so. Then we can switch to our glass block again. There we go. Like so, and then the block of our choice there. And we'll have a ladder on there as well, but we're also gonna put a sign in this one because there's gonna be some water to force the sheep in the correct direction. So ladder and then the sign closest to the grass. And then we're gonna do the same for all four modules. So grass all the way down to the pre blocks from the end. Like so. Grab your block of your choice, stick your ladder on it, grab your sign next to the, the grass, sorry, right there, and then we will have a sign on that one on the opposite side like so, and then we can do our grass again, just finish that off, then our glass, like so, and then same for this last one, so block your choice, get your glass, oops, too far, just three blocks of glass, then we can grab our grass. We've got to come back and do the sign as well, don't forget, of course, otherwise your water's gonna fall down to the layer below and we don't want that, that's gonna drain your sheep. So grab our sign on your left-hand side there. Feels like we're getting close to the home straight now, folks. There's no more, well, there's a little bit more grass we've got to put in, but there's no more platforms. This is the last platform. Placing a temporary block and then a grass block in between your two chests there. Not strictly necessary, that's just to help you get around your farm and place the shears in, there you go. And I'll just hover up a little bit so you can see it as always. Next layer, right, we're gonna grab our glass and we're gonna place glass in. Make sure you leave the one block hole for the sheep to fall down at the front, but bring your glass all the way down to the back. There we go. And then same for this wall, all the way down to the bottom and then bring your block of choice up. No ladder this time. What we're gonna do this time is place a sign level on that last grass block right there. Then we're gonna place a water source over the top of the ladder, and that's gonna push your sheep forward all the way down to the front of the farm. Same with this one, glass all the way down. Make sure you leave your one block gap all the way down to the bottom. Finally, this one as well, and then we can grab our block of choice. There we go, bring it up. Grab your sign, remember no ladder on this one. Oops, try not to fall down. There you go, put your sign in there. And then you sign in there, and then grab your water source and your water source over the ladder just to push those sheep forward. And same for your last module. Glass all the way down, there we go. One more wall to do, there we go. Block up, put your sign in and then put your water source in. Okay, one last thing to do on this layer is we need more grass just to promote that growth of the uh, of the, the grass to make more wool. So do three by three there, leave your gap over your chest so you can get to put more shears in. This just helps you get around as well. Place your grass just level at the back there. You could go all the way back if you want. I just haven't bothered in this tutorial, but nothing to stop you. A three by three area, leave your chests uncovered like so. One more, and then on the outer edges, just to help a little bit more, just the one bit of grass there as well. You only really need that level with the grass. I know I did place that one extra block there. You don't necessarily need that. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, I made a little mistake on that left-hand side. Don't worry too much about that. Right then folks, last bit is nice and simple. We're gonna build the glass wall up, two more blocks. All the way down. I'm just gonna do the one of these, then I'm just gonna speed up the footage and just skip through to the end because it's really it's very simple. It's all the same, two blocks high, block your choice at the end, like so. Then we've just gotta put our ceiling in. So one, two, three. We're gonna leave a two block gap there and that is gonna be for our trap doors. Grab our trap doors, place them in. It doesn't really matter where you put them on this layer, to be quite honest, as long as you can reach the sheep and get the sheep on that platform. Then put your light sources in exactly the same as the layer below. There we go, one there and then one on the other side. Right folks, I'm gonna speed up this footage and then we'll come back in and put the sheep in.
Okay, all done. We're gonna get the sheep in now. Gonna be nice and easy for me and creative. Like I say, just lead them in from the top and through those trap doors. Nice and simple for me in, in, sorry, in creative. I have got this lovely command block. So I'm gonna spawn in 35 sheep. Now, I have done this type of farm before and I've experimented with somewhere between 27 and 37 sheep and the answer is somewhere between 30 and 37. Won't make a huge amount of difference. So 35 is a very good number, stick that in. If you go too few, then there's not enough sheep to push the other sheep around. If you go too many, then it's just gonna skip them and you're already kind of max that it will get. Anyway, flick the lever and they should start getting sheared, but they're not because I'm an idiot and I haven't put any shears in the chest. Fill up that top chest with shears. There we go, nice and easy and creative. So yeah, 35 sheep, folks. Folks, this has been a very long video. I hope you found it useful. Like I say, there is a world download if you can keep up with anything, and there is also gonna be a schematic. Folks, if you did enjoy this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Let me know down in the comments that you've subscribed. I would love to say hello. Anyway, folks, I'm Abfielder. That's all I got time for. Goodbye.